BC Calculus. Let's look at this station activity, problem number six. Uh, remember, ultimately, your first goal should not be to try to do a U substitution for an integral. Instead, you should ask yourself if perhaps you could simplify and break down this problem uh, so that you could have x to a power. And uh, what we'll do is go ahead and uh, take this common fraction and turn it into two separate fractions. As uh, Mr. Clifford and I like to say a lot, do an I heart math. Uh, so you can see what's going to happen when you do that. Uh, this will become 2 all over x squared, but that's really 2x to the negative 2. And uh, this is minus 7x to the negative 3rd. So, hey, at this point, you've got some choices on what you'd like to do. Um, some kids really dislike seeing that bound uh, being negative 1 on the bottom and negative 2 at the top. I do want to tell you that you can do this problem as is. You truly don't have to make a change. But I do think most kids do go ahead and they change the bounds. So you want to have your smaller number down below, a bigger number up on top. And that's definitely allowed and definitely okay. Um, and we can fix this up very fast. So now we just go ahead and we take our antiderivative. And our antiderivative, we're going to bump this up a power of 1. So we'll have x to the negative 1. But then we have to divide by that negative 1. So that's going to become a negative 2. Here we're going to bump this up by a power of 1. And that's going to be x to the negative 2. But of course, then we're going to divide by negative 2. And then we're going to evaluate that between negative 1 and negative 2. Well, I'm going to do some cleaning up right now. We still have this minus out in front. And this becomes negative 2 all over an x. A minus and a minus turn into a plus. So that's 7 all over 2. But then we'll have x squared down below. And we're going to evaluate that between negative 1 and negative 2. So let's keep this minus out in front. And first, go ahead and plug in negative 1. So I'm going to have negative 2 all over negative 1 plus a 7 all over 2 times negative 1 squared. And that's our first component. Then we'll say minus. And now I'm going to plug in my negative 2. So we'll say negative 2 over negative 2 plus a 7 over 2 times negative 2 squared. And now we just have to clean it up. Negative 2 over negative 1, of course, is just a 2. Negative 1 squared right there, it's just going to turn into a positive 1. So we have this. Uh, and then negative 2 over negative 2, well, that's just going to become a positive 1. Negative 2 squared is a 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So we'd have 7 all over 8. And again, if you'd like to distribute that negative, you could. You know, here you get 2 plus 7 over 2. Uh, minus a 1, and then minus a 7 over 8. You can combine your like terms. Um, you know, a, a 2 and a minus 1, I think you can see very quickly, it would just be a 1. And wow, we're getting there. Uh, you could just get a common denominator real, real quickly. You could say this is 1 over 1. We're going to multiply by 8 over 8. Here we could multiply by 4 over 4. And uh, where are we going? Well, this is going to be... 8 over 8 plus 28 over 8 uh, minus 7 all over 8. And uh, hopefully you can see this 8 and the negative 7 is a 1. 1 plus 28 is 29. So we get 29 over 8. But don't forget you've got that negative out in front. Final answer then is negative 29 over 8.